Hello, my name is Maria from MathMammoth.com. In this lesson, we're studying volume. Now, volume means how much space something takes, okay? And we measure it in cubic units. I have here a few examples. Cubic units are always in the shape of a cube. And this little cube here is made so that its side here is one inch, and then this here, the height would be one inch, and this way also one inch. And then we call it one cubic inch, okay? We can abbreviate one cubic inch in two ways. For example, one, and then in as for inch, and then an elevated three. Or one C-U-I-N. This elevated three probably reminds you of area units, where we had square inches and square centimeters, and we had an elevated two, okay? When we're measuring area, we have two dimensions to deal with, the width and the length. But with volume, we have three dimensions. We have the width here, and then height, and then this way, the depth, okay? So that's where this three comes from. Here's another cubic unit, this time one cubic centimeter. So there, we would have one centimeter here, one centimeter for the depth, and one centimeter for the height. And the abbreviation is 1 cm elevated 3, one cubic centimeter. And here's one cubic foot, so that means this is one foot. This is one foot, and the height, all three dimensions are one foot. And you can abbreviate it as ft elevated 3, but don't read it that way, it is cubic foot, okay? O1 CUFT. And besides these, there are other cubic units too, because if you had here one meter, one meter, one meter, you would get one cubic meter, and so on. Another thing children need to understand is the volume of a box, or of a rectangular prism. And let's look at some examples here that I made. Basically the idea here is that instead of counting the blocks one by one, you can just look how many are here on the bottom, and then go that many times how many layers up it goes. There's two on the bottom, and then two layers up in this one, so a total of four, right? Here we have two on the bottom, and then we have one, two, three, four, five layers up. So five times two is ten blocks, ten cubic units in total. Over here, you can look at the bottom, and even the bottom you can find out by multiplying. You can find how many blocks there are by multiplying 2 times 3, right? And that is your width and your depth. Width times depth, 2 times 3 is 6. And then another layer of 6. 6 times 2 is 12. So, even if I add here more, you can still see the same principle. We can, we can look at the bottom and go 2 times 3 to find how many blocks on the bottom layer, and then that times 3, the height to get the total volume of this rectangular prism. Now let's figure the volume of these two rectangular prisms. They're basically boxes, box-shaped figures. And they are already divided into little cubic units. So actually, it's very easy to figure out the volume. You just count. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So the volume here is eight cubic units. But I also want to look at the width, and the height, and the depth. For this particular one, the width here is 4 units. The depth, this way, is just 1 unit. And the height, 2 units. We can multiply those to get the volume, the total volume, okay? 4 times 1 times 2 equals 8. So the volume is 8. But it's not units alone. For the volume, we say it is 8 cubic units, okay? Or if these were, you know, so many centimeters or so many inches, whatever, then I would use here 8 cubic centimeters, 8 cubic inches, whatever. Then this one. Again, we can multiply those three dimensions to get the total volume. For example, if I want to know how many blocks are here in the bottom row, I would have 2 times 2, 4, in the bottom row. And then I would go that times the height, how many layers there are. I would go 4 times 3 equals 12. The width here is 2 units. Then the depth is 2 also, 2 units. And the height is 3 units. 
you can multiply these and get 12 cubic units. 12 little cubes stacked to form this figure, this rectangular prism. 